What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and today we're at it again with another video. So this is the third video in a series of videos for the Nest Hub Max. So this is a video that I'm actually most excited about because it will allow you to see how easy it is to use the Nest Hub Max. Now if you haven't seen the other videos in this series, I suggest going back and watching them because what you'll find is that setting up the Nest Hub Max is actually what takes the longest and what's actually the hardest. There's also some good information in some of those videos and just some cool stuff to know. Now in those videos we actually go over unboxing the Nest Hub Max and setting it up and speaking of setting up we actually have one more thing to do here today. We have the Nest camera on here which I haven't set up yet and I haven't used so I'm looking forward to doing that today in this video here. But before we go ahead and jump into that I want to talk about the face recognition. It's really cool on here and I want to show you exactly what that does. Now in the previous video for the Nest Hub Max series, we actually went ahead and set up face recognition for Google and it was very sci-fi futuristic looking. I had to turn my face in these different positions just to get recognized and get input into the system, but it was really cool. Again, just very, very futuristic. Now the way the face recognition works on the Nest Hub Max is just out of this world. You just walk up to it and it recognizes your face and you don't even have to have a direct straight on approach to it. You can approach at an angle, you can wear a hat, you can do it without a hat. I did the face recognition with the hat and it knew me without it. I think I also trimmed my facial hair throughout the whole use of this thing and it still recognized me. So the face recognition is very, very cool because what it does once it recognizes you is it pulls up all your information. It pulls up things like your calendar, the songs that you like, news stories, all that kind of good stuff. So let's go ahead and actually show you what it's like when I walk up to this at an angle. And what you're gonna look for here is in the top right hand corner of the screen, you're gonna look for my Google icon. That's my picture of myself, my avatar. That's gonna show up. And then it should bring up some of my information that I could swipe through. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm actually going to walk up to it right now with the hat on. And you're gonna see that it just pops up. It just knows it's me. So I just walk up and there it goes, bam. It's just, it's just right there. It just works really well. Now I'm very excited about this too because the Pixel 4 that's coming out is supposed to have this face recognition technology. And if it works this good or better, this is just crazy. So anyways, let's go ahead and see what we can do with the face recognition here. So here we are with the Nest Hub Max. I got the screen up a little bit more closer here. And as you can see, we got my icon in the top right hand corner there. So what I can do is I can go ahead and touch the screen here and it's going to bring up my events. Now we can go ahead and swipe. We can see our top stories. We can swipe again, see YouTube music. We can swipe again and see YouTube. And we can swipe again, you know we love food, so we've got our food here. And then we can swipe again, we've got our local events. And then if we swipe again, you can see there are recommendations for our evening. And then last but not least, we have on here, explore more things your assistant can do. Okay, so it's time to proceed to the next step. We know on the Nest Hub Max, we have the Nest camera right in the center right there. So I went ahead and threw a screen recording in the video here. I'm gonna go ahead and try to set this up. So here we are in the Google Home app and at the top, this just automatically shows up and it says set up Nest Cam. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. So now it's going to ask me if I wanna set up the Nest Cam live viewing for AIM-1. Now you may be wondering why this is called AIM-1 and that's because I love to give my stuff a sci-fi name. So AIM means assistant in media and this is the first one in the household. So it's AIM-1, I've got AIM-2, AIM-3 in different locations. So yes, this is the Nest Hub Max but you can give it a nickname. So let's go ahead and read through this. It says the Nest Cam Live View allows home members to use the home app to keep an eye on things depending on the location, angle, and lighting of the camera's view. This is going to be interesting because I haven't actually tried this out. Now, the next line is very important. Nest Hub Max's camera doesn't have night vision. So I'm gonna be interested to see how this works in low lighting. You can see the sun is starting to go down. I use natural lighting for the videos. It's gonna be interesting to see what the camera shows us at nighttime. So we're gonna go ahead and click setup. Now this is very interesting here. We've got privacy guidelines and this is a very huge topic for today. Now I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but towards the end here, it says, for example, you may need to notify visitors to your home that you are recording audio and video. From what I'm told, I haven't really researched this, 
But in some states, I guess it's against the law to record people without them knowing. But it's weird because in your house, it's your place. I would think you could do whatever you want if you know someone comes into your house, you could just say, my house, my rules. But I'm not sure how that works, so this is just something to keep in mind. So we're gonna go ahead and agree to this. We're gonna click OK. So the next screen is going to ask us if we have a Nest account, and I don't have one yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up. I'm not gonna include that in the video because there's some private information here that I would not wanna share with anyone. So as soon as I get this set up, I'll be right back. So the screen before this one, I actually had to grant camera permission by scanning the QR code on the Nest Hub Max. So once I did that, it brought me to this screen here. It says video stream available. A green light will remain on whenever your camera is available for live viewing and activity notification. So as you can see, we have a green light right there. So we can go ahead and click next here. Now you can also see when the video is being viewed. When the light on your camera is blinking green, a home member is viewing the live stream. So we're gonna walk into the room here and you'll be able to see me. I'm on the camera and uh, I'm right there. And that works pretty good. Now there is a delay in the video here. When you view the Nest live stream, you can actually hear things too. So this is pretty cool. And this actually allows you to see what it looks like now that it's getting a little bit darker. It is harder to see details. Um, I am a little blurred out. It's not necessarily the best camera, but it's enough to recognize what's going on here. Okay, so here we are in the living room area. Again, we have a delay here, and that's why I'm recording on the Pixel 3 XL. So you can compare that to this as well and just see how much of a delay there is. Now, as you can see, this looks a lot better in complete lighting, I look a lot more clear. Not as clear as the video on the smartphone there, but it's good enough to notice anyone or anything. Now what you're gonna see going on here too, is we've got this wide angle. So it shows a pretty good area here. It's pretty big and that's gonna be nice. Okay, so here we are closer to the Nest Hub Max. We're showing the screen again here and we wanna show some of the gestures that you can do. So the first thing we're going to start with is swiping up and this basically brings up all your settings here. You've got display brightness, which you can just change that by sliding your finger across the display. Then the next thing we have here would be volume. So again, just like the display brightness, you can adjust this by sliding your finger around as well. Now here we have a setting to turn the camera on or off. The camera is off. The camera is back on. And then we have a setting to turn do not disturb on or off. And then we can add an alarm right here. And then there's just more settings right over here. Now, if we tap anywhere on the screen here, it gets rid of this bar at the bottom. Now, if we swipe to the right, that's going to actually bring us back to our clock. And again, if we tap that, it'll just bring us back home. Now, if we pull down from the top here, this allows us to see all our smart home features. We can control our lights. We can perform routines, play media, broadcast, and see our cameras. So again, the face recognition sees my face, it recognizes me, and it pulls up everything that's mine. If I swipe again here, I could see my top stories. I could see my YouTube music. I could see my YouTube videos. I could see recipes for myself and I can get more suggestions, and then explore more things that the assistant can do on the Nest Hub Max. Now, if we go all the way back here to the main screen, you can see we've got these pictures here, and if I swipe just a little bit differently, I can actually scroll through the pictures. Now, not only does all this work by hand, we can do this by voice also. Okay, Google, turn on all the lights. You got it, turning nine lights on. Okay, Google. Turn on all the fans. Okay, turning four outlets on. Okay, Google, turn off all the fans. Okay, turning four outlets off. So speaking of music, I'm just gonna scroll until I get to YouTube Music here, and we're gonna click on this so you can see what happens. Here are some recommended music videos. So here we have recommended music videos for me, and I will say that the Nest Hub Max has really good speakers and really good bass. It actually sounds really, really good, and it gets really loud. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on something here. 
and then we're gonna pause it and I'm gonna go back here now you can see this is actually gonna show up in what I would call our cards here and if I don't want to pay attention to that anymore I could just swipe it away okay so I wanted to go ahead and wrap things up by comparing the Nest Hub Max to the Nest Hub just really quickly here now of course I'm still using the Nest Hub well mine is actually the Google Home Hub that's what it was when I got it and it works really good but if you're looking for the ultimate deal it's a Nest Hub Max now I say this because the speakers sound better the bass is better you've got a bigger screen you've got that Nest camera as well now besides all that it pretty much does the same exact thing as the Nest Hub so if you're not looking to get any other extra stuff that the Nest Hub Max has then you might be okay with the Nest Hub now the Nest Hub isn't bad to me, it's just limited because it doesn't have all those things. So that's pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are two ways to support the channel. The first way is to share this video with someone who might find it useful. Now, the next way to support the channel is by hitting that subscribe button. And until next time, Leon, check in out.